Hello, this is a quick look at the LEGO City Downtown Fire Brigade set. This is one of the big sets for LEGO City for 2019, one of the most expensive. It comes with a whole host of figures, vehicles, uh, craft, structures even, and it introduces some new play features for the year, so let's take a closer look. This is one of LEGO's largest fire apparatus to date with fold-down outriggers and of course a very large ladder that can be raised and turned side to side. It has a new feature called a water pump, but it doesn't pump water at all. It uses air under hydraulic pressure to extend and retract a couple of plastic pieces that represent a stream of water you can use to actively attack fires. It's intended to work somewhat like a spring-loaded shooter, but without having to reload. The cab unit of the truck also has a new feature with this light and sound module up on top. At the back of the cab they have clips to hold a couple of brand new fire axes which are dual molded and look very realistic. And inside the cab you'll find basic seating for just two figures. You'll find a little bit of storage on either side of the trailer section for some minifigure accessories and also a rack on the front of the trailer. But most of the space is dedicated to carrying this remotely operated vehicle, which has another play feature that's new for 2019. It's a tile cannon. It shoots out three tiles at one time, or one at a time if you're more careful with it. And there are also a couple of robot arms on the front that can be used to grab things or carry small things around. This single seat fire helicopter is really nothing special in the LEGO City line, but it does include another of those tile cannons, which can be used to attack fires that are up higher. Here's a fire motorcycle that has a racing bike fairing and carries a couple of traffic cones, a fire extinguisher, and a radio walkie-talkie unit. I've actually already shown you most of the play features of this building structure, which can represent something that's abandoned and being taken down, or something that's being renovated, something that's just been built, or it can even represent a training building at a fire training facility. Ironically, although it's really only set up for limited uses for firefighting, it's one of the larger buildings that has ever been made in the LEGO City line. Most of the interior space is used up by the fire-specific play features, though, so if you want to use this as an actual building, you'll need to take some of those things out, with the exception of the ground floor, which has a little bit of space and just a few details already there. Here's a medium-sized tower-style construction crane, which can rotate at its base, and it also has a working winch, so you can raise and lower the hook at the end, and that's pretty much all that this one does. And there's also this side build to expand your construction site a little bit. It has a very tall work light and an outhouse, which is intended to be lifted, but it comes apart intentionally when you try to lift it. It can be embarrassing if somebody's in there. Also, you can attach this side build to the main build, and that enables another play feature. When you hit the work light, it falls over and hits an AC unit on the building, which raises the flames. Q calls to the fire department, and out comes the ladder truck with its action features to put those fires back down. The clock on the front of the building can also be removed, and you can use that to run into the work light and start the fire instead. Here are the first three of seven minifigures included in this set with very nice prints for them and a new red color, just basic red color instead of dark red, for the fire helmet. One of these has an alternate face. Two more fire personnel here with either a chief or a high-ranking officer on the left who is holding on to a control unit for the remotely operated vehicle complete with a video screen so you can see what it is doing. And the person on the right is intended to be the fire helicopter pilot. Just one face for each of these. Lastly, the construction site gets two construction workers, with the one on the left having a new, very simple torso print, front and back, and one of these gets an alternate face that's very appropriate for the scenarios in this set. Oh, they also let you literally make a sandwich for one lucky minifigure. You can find the speed build for this set on my build channel, and the full detailed narrative review on the Jangbricks channel. You'll find links to both of those here on the screen in just a moment. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you again as soon as I can.